Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about mydadrine as a treatment for POTS. This is quite a common treatment but it doesn't work in a similar way to the others. Most POTS medication focus on lowering the heart rate because that's the biggest thing that people with POTS need help with but actually mydadrine focuses on increasing blood pressure. Blood pressure is a common issue that runs alongside POTS and also a lot of POTS medications lower blood pressure. So this one is great if low blood pressure is an issue for you or also if you're taking a medication like beta blockers which lower your blood pressure. So the main improvements I've found on this medication are that I'm so much less dizzy now. I feel like I can sit a lot more comfortably. I can walk for slightly longer. Still not for really great distances but I'm a lot more comfortable in my everyday life. I can sit and actually sit and be balanced, whereas before I couldn't do that. So it's allowed me to be able to sit comfortably without feeling dizzy. I can walk and stand for short periods of time and I generally just feel a lot more well and that shows in my readings. So my blood pressure is in a normal range now and along with the beta blocker I take, my heart rate also is much better than it was. So if you suffer with fainting and dizziness, often things like brain fog goes with that, then I think you'd see real improvements in all of those areas. And on to side effects, there are a few. The main one is that you get a tingly head or tingly feeling down your spine and you also get like the sensation of goosebumps or actual goosebumps. So for me, I could really see the goosebumps. I had like really raised hair follicles, but those things only last for about a week. It kind of feels like you've got, it's not cold, but when you have a chill and you feel that tingly sort of feeling, that's what it feels like and also a lot of people get pressure headaches which is just like a slight headache full of pressure in your head. It doesn't sound very nice but all of these things are really quite minor and they do tend to settle after a week or two so don't be put off by it. If you can I would say to stick with it, your body just needs to adjust to it. You can take your readings and see if you want to just make sure that your blood pressure is not going too high that is something to look out for but honestly you start on a low dose and so normally you have nothing to worry about it's just your body getting used to that and for most people the two week adjustment period will be worth it it's not really uncomfortable so don't expect this like insane really intense feeling it's nothing too bad it's nothing that you can't handle and again with the headaches they're not too severe so don't be expecting anything too crazy, but you should expect slight tingliness. Most people do get that in the beginning. One thing I've found that helps with that is making sure you don't take your doses too close together. You can't take the last one too close to bedtime, but if you can leave a reasonable gap between your doses, then that should really help with those initial side effects and would prevent the side effects coming back. But overall, most people get on really well with this medication, so I hope you do too if you start it. I wish you good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!